Wow, so what's the deal with the flannel shirt thing? Is it a nod to the crispy Seattle water or are you just keeping warm in front of the fridge? Hey, wow, you're really feeling out there. Do you want to be Josh and get a girl like Cher? Or did you thrift this flannel jacket and now you want to style it in a million different ways because you love it way too much for your health? That is an oddly specific situation that you might or might not encounter in the future. And this is my favorite flannel jacket. Ugh, as if I would not date Josh. Okay, so here we are. We have 10 minutes until your very first date with this boy or girl that you really, really like. And what do we do? We only have a flannel jacket. Why you wear it as a dress, of course. What I like to do when styling patterns is actually to take a color from the pattern and match it to the other pieces in my clothing. So to prevent the first date from going too scandalous, I put on a black skirt underneath the flannel so it doesn't look too short. Then I have this black belt to cinch in the waist so that you look snatched. Moving on, so imagine to share being the ever caring self decided to become an English teacher. Mini black dress, flannel, perfect. The key to tucking in loads of fabric is to be patient and as quote-unquote ladylike as possible so that you get everything. Layering the dress on top of the flannel makes the dress stand out more and gives it a more preppy but still schoolboys will have a crush on me look. And I'm wearing white sneakers because I don't think any teacher can stand in heels for the entire day or maybe I just don't like to walk in heels. Oh sheesh, the bell just rung, time to go teach Jane Austen's Emma! Do secretaries always dress in small pencil skirts or do men just objectify female secretaries in movies? Hmm. Anyways, we are reusing everything we used before because rewearing clothes is absolutely normal. I'm just going to casually turn my mini dress into a mini skirt and then use the belt from the first outfit to hide the fact that this isn't a proper mini skirt. And I'm also wearing black hues to hide the fact that I wear my white sneakers way too much. Daddy, you need to drink your orange juice for your vitamin C. Honestly, sure would make a pretty good lawyer. This is a more formal looking workplace outfit. Or maybe it's not and I'm barely an adult who has no real work experience. So I just put on some more formal pants because more formal pants make the outfit more formal. And to crop the flannel, I'm just going to tie it at the back and tuck it into my bra and then adding a scarf as a belt to give it more color. I have direction. Yeah, towards the art supply store. Are you an art ho who likes to look at Minka London's clothes, but they're way too expensive for you? Well, here's an outfit for you because I DIY these pants. I use acrylic to paint flowers on them. Oh, and here's me sweating away mosquitoes. Ugh. I tuck the flannel into my jeans and popped out the button so the lace undershirt peeks out. I also tied a bandana to give it more of an artsy look and to tie in the blue of the jeans. And also, don't forget the white sneakers. Girl, you gotta get over whoever is still in your mind. That's why this fit is just for you. I'm wearing a more feminine corset top to balance out both the jeans and the flare. The brown tones of all the pieces make the fit more cohesive. But to sprinkle in a pop of color, I'm adding a white bandana to my hair, but tying it in a hairband way. And also some white high top covers to finish off the look. Hi! Thank you so much for watching! Now you know all the ways to style flannel jackets more than Josh and Clueless. But what you'll never be able to do is look like you're still in your 20s like Paul Rudd does when he's in his 50s. That man does not age. Anyways, I'll be back next week! See ya! See? I said I'll have an outro this week. This is my photographer of the day. She's my photographer always, but mom helped me photo shoot my thumbnails. Bye!